Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this glitchy clone effect inside of After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is grab your clip here. I just have this single clip in my timeline, just for example here. I'll play it really quick. So yeah, this is what we're working with. And what we want to do is go up to our rotor brush right here. So just have this selected and then double click on your clip. And then it brings up this new composition layer. And inside this, we can use our rotor brush. So what we want to do is just select our person here or subject, whatever you're going to clone and create like a rough outline. So there we go. Didn't do too bad of a job. Kind of messed up right here, fit right here. Hold alt on your keyboard while dragging to remove selections and then just uh, left click to add selections to your mask. Um, so yeah, this isn't looking too bad now. You also want to have this on full because on quarter it's uh, pretty like bad quality. So the brush isn't totally perfect. So yeah, just having it on full will give you a better outline. So this looks pretty good. I'm happy with how this first frame is looking. Maybe just this glove right here. There we go. So that's pretty good. You can see over here what it's looking like on the black background. Over here in our rotor brush settings, we can change this from standard to best and then have this on 2.0 instead of 1.0. But if you only have the 1.0 option, that is fine. It just won't be as good as the 2.0. So what you want to do is just go ahead in the frames, uh, just frame by frame by hitting your arrow keys and just kind of look for any mess ups in the roto brush. So right now it's looking good. I don't have to correct anything. And basically you just want to keep doing this until you see a mistake in it. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and correct it. All right. So once you've finished selecting your subject with your roto brush, you just want to go up here to your freeze right above your timeline and just hit this. And what it's going to do is just save all your roto brush keyframes so that they don't mess up uh, later on while you're editing. All right. So the roto brush just finished freezing. So we can just close out of this layer right here. And in our settings, we can make our feather for the roto brush like 20. Um, you can turn on motion blur if you want, but it's not too much motion blur in this clip, so I'm just going to leave that off. What we want to do is duplicate this layer, hit Control D, and then on our bottom layer right here, delete our rotor brush. So now we have one with the rotor brush and then one without. And with our rotor brush layer, we're just going to want to duplicate that two more times. So one, two. So now we have these two middle clips, and we're going to use these for our cloning. So what I'm going to do is go into our positioning values for these middle clips. Uh, if you hit P on your keyboard, it brings up your position values. All right, so with our positioning values here, I'm going to have keyframes for the start of our clips on both. And then we're going to go towards like the middle, somewhere around here. And let's just drag this one to the right and our bottom one to the left. Uh, it doesn't have to be too perfect. With our keyframes, we want to easy ease them. So let's just do the top one first. So let's just go into our keyframes, highlight them, and go into our graph here. And inside our graph, we want to go to speed graph and just change the way this looks by bringing these yellow like points closer to each other. So after you easy ease that, you kind of get a cool effect like this where it fast uh, ramps in right here, which looks clean. So we're just going to do the same thing on our bottom here. F9, go into our graph editor, bring these yellow points here closer together. And let's see. So that one's going out faster or before this one. So we're just going to want to bring this one over here. That looks pretty close. Yeah, that looks good enough. And having motion blur on these clips will make it look a lot cleaner because with it off, I'll turn it off really quick. It's uh, it's just like uh, really crisp. You don't get any motion blur, which is basically this motion blur is doing is creating fake motion blur on the clip. So keep that on. It's going to make the effect look a lot cleaner. So now that we have our cloned effect here, 
Like you can just use this in your video or whatever, but this is uh, the part where I'm going to add the glitch to. So go up to glitch and use our uni dot glitch. Drag that onto uh, one of our clips here. And now when we play that back, it's a super slow right now because it's rendering it out, but you can see the glitching happening right here. Once again, this plugin is a uh, preset or not a preset. It's a plugin by uh, Red Giant. So if you don't have it, that's probably why. So you'll have to get the Red Giant plugin. It's like the Red Giant universe or something. I'm not totally sure what it is, but uh, yeah, universe. So universe styles, um, you can download that online. But what I'm going to do is change this from 43 to like 30 and that's just making this uh, glitch just a bit smaller and then I'm just going to leave the glitches the glitch frequency at 100% but let's see here I kind of want to keyframe our glitch frequency and make it go to zero so when I play that back the glitch like starts to go away we can change the keyframe here and make it go away faster. Just play around with it. That's looking pretty good. If you go to full, you can see these uh, glitched like edges get a lot smaller. So when you're in quarter, just be careful that what you're seeing in here isn't actually what it's going to look like in your rendered view. So that's just a tip to kind of know when you're using this plugin. Um, so yeah, I guess you could bump this back up to like 40 or 50. Um, I guess I'll leave it at 40, the default value. It gives it that cool pixelated edge kind of look to it. What I'm going to do is just copy this glitch here. So control C, go to your bottom clip or not your bottom, but second, the bottom, the one that you haven't added the effect to yet and just paste it onto that clip. The keyframes for this glitch frequency are a bit off. They, uh, paste it out there. So just drag them over here to line up with your other ones. There we go. And you can also create a different seed. So you can see that there is the same glitch happening. So we can go to our oh random seed right here. So just mess with this until you get a cool looking glitch. Like that. That looks cool. So now you have a different glitch for the uh, different clips here. There you go. That's pretty much it for this uh, glitch effect. But you can add obviously a lot more things like glow and everything. But I'm not going to get into that in this video. So I'm just trying to keep it pretty basic and simple. But obviously it gives off a cool effect in your videos or whatever you want to use it for. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if you guys got stuck or need any help, just leave them down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe and leave a like while you're at it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.